Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about spectrum and electromagnetic spectrum. What is spectrum? A group of wavelengths and frequencies are called spectrum. For example, when white light passes through a prism, white light disperses and divides into seven colors. There is a continuous change in wavelengths from red longest wavelength to violet the shortest. Seven colors have different wavelengths and frequencies. Similarly, formation of rainbow also an example for spectrum. There are seven colors namely violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. You can find the colors spreading continuously and the intensities of each color varies from one point to other. What is electromagnetic spectrum? A vibrating electric charge creates a change in the electric field. The changing electric field creates a changing magnetic field. This process continues with the both the created fields being perpendicular to each other and right angle to the direction of propagation of the wave. The light which coming from sun also an electromagnetic wave and speed of the light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Electromagnetic energy traveling through a vacuum behaves like a wave of water. Electromagnetic energy is characterized by wavelength and frequency. The wavelength of the wave is the distance from one wave peak to other or the distance between any two points in same pace. The frequency of a wave is simply the number of waves pass by a point in one second. The speed of the light is equal to the product of frequency and wavelength. It is a universal relationship and applies to all waves. As the frequency increases, the wavelength becomes smaller. Electromagnetic waves can have a wide variety of frequencies and wavelengths. The entire range of electromagnetic wave frequencies is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The familiar example of visible spectrum in nature is the formation of rainbow. Each color in a rainbow is characterized by a specified wavelength from red to violet. These colors that the human naked eye is sensitive to are called visible light. The range of wavelengths covering red color to violet color is called the visible spectrum. Electromagnetic waves can have a wide variety of wavelengths. The entire range of wavelengths is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum consists of a continuous range of wavelengths of gamma rays at the shorter wavelength to radio waves at the longer wavelength. But our eyes are sensitive only to visible light. 
what is the relation between atomic structure and electromagnetic spectrum to know this let's see some examples when you heat an iron rod some of the heat energy emitted as light first it turns into red when the temperature is high enough other colors will also be emitted but due to higher intensity of one particular emitted color others cannot be observed do you observe yellow light in street lamps sodium vapors produce yellow light in street lamps scientists found that each element emits its own characteristic color these colors correspond to certain discrete wavelengths of light and are called line spectra the lines in atomic spectra can be used to identify unknown atoms and the structure of atoms this is about electromagnetic spectrum thank you